through two games, if you had to find a confidence level to Mac Jones on a scale from one to ten, what would that be? How confident it's, are you? It's a ten. It is a big old fat ten. <laughs> the guy, I mean, not only does he is he incredibly accurate and he doesn't make bad decisions, it's like Bill Belichick like like raised him in a cell from birth to be the quarterback of the Patriots. He he throws his first touchdown, doesn't even want the ball. Head down immediately to the sideline. Whenever he gets sacked on third down, doesn't talk, immediately head down to the sideline, starts talking to Josh McDaniels, starts t- trying to game plan. It is just it is incredible how dedicated he is to winning and sometimes that's all that matters and that's all you need because he's you don't need to be the best if you have that drive. That drive will make you the best sometimes. Who taught you that, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it was helpful that he went to Bama. He had Nick Saban, who's basically yeah. Bill Belichick of the of college football. Uh, well, sticking with Matt, Mac, um, what's your uh, stats prediction for Mac Jones through 17 games? Just let's assume he plays every game. Assume he plays every game through yeah. 17 games. I think it's 24 touchdowns, four interceptions, four. 3,700 yards. I think that's reasonable. Um, he's going to have to start picking it up with the touchdowns, though. Yeah, I mean, I think he'll throw three in a couple of games. Against your your uh, old boy? I hope shootout, so. A shootout? I hope so. That would be That would be so sweet. That would be so sweet. It'd be so sweet if we beat him like 42 to nothing. Oh, that would be <laughs> it, it would be incredible if Tom Brady came in like 150 yards from the passing yards record and we didn't let him get it. Like because it'd be cool to see him break it at Gillette, but it'd be even better to stop him so much that he couldn't break it. I remember when Peyton came back to the to, to play the Colts for the first time and he had that stat where it was like the only team he's never beaten was the Colts because he was on the Colts. And when we beat him, I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you don't get <laughs> Not that. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. And then he got it, I think, the year after. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a fun game for you. I- I'm so happy that you're going. It's so awesome. I'm so excited. It's yeah, going to be that's... It's gonna be incredible. So many Brady chants. I mean, I'm going yeah. to be doing so many Brady chants. I don't even care. You got it. You got to honor the guy. I can't wait to watch it on TV. <laughs> it's going to be pr- maybe one of the biggest NFL regular season games of all time. Like, yeah, I can't. I can't think of a bigger one. I mean, Peyton returning was one thing, but the Tom returning, it's completely Yeah, different. he played there longer. He won more Super Bowls. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, so what what would you say is your biggest strength right now through two games in terms of the just the <sighs> Well, I wanted to say it's the offensive line, but Trent Brown got hurt almost immediately in the <laughs> Dolphins game. And I don't know. I don't know. What's his name? Um, we traded for Yasir Durant. And he's he's okay, but you know he's he's a guy you got off the street. Like he's he's unreliable. It seems like Max under pressure all the time when he's throwing the ball. Isaiah Wynn, I don't know what happened. He was playing well past couple of years. He's been at least I, what I've seen hasn't looked that great. Uh, our strength it's still our defense. Our defense is really good even without Stefan Gilmore. And when Stefan Gilmore comes back, I think it's going to be the best in the league. Like I think. And, and it takes Bill Belichick's defense sometimes a couple of weeks to really get where they want to be. So I, I think it's going to be pretty shut down, hopefully just in time for the Buccaneers. Now, I don't think Stephon Gilmore can come back to like week seven, week eight, which sucks. But yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely the defense. It's the defense and then having a lead and running the ball. That's the that's the kind of team we're going to try to be like kind like, of like the Giants when they beat yeah. the Patriots in 07. Or even like the early Patriots teams, right? Yeah, Great defense. Yeah, game manager at quarterback who does enough, makes enough plays. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, what what level of your defense would you say is strongest? Line linebackers or it's our secondary? safeties. Our safeties. Uh, um, Adrian Phillips is incredible. He's so much better than he was last year. He was on the Chargers. I think. I think this is his. His second year on the Patriots, not his third. So he was on the Chargers before that, and he was pretty good on the Chargers too. But he's just—I I mean, Bill Belichick loves his safeties, and and if you can play safety well for him, you can play safety really well for Bill Belichick. Yeah. We still have Devin McCourty, who is old, but he's still he's still a really good safety. Kyle Duggar, who is the second year, he's very explosive. He's able to break break plays up in the backfield, like running plays like that, which is 
really valuable when you got, I mean, Dante Hightower, I don't know. I hope he, he looked a lot better last game, but the first game against the Dolphins, he looked, he looked slow. He looked slow and like he couldn't catch up. Then again, yeah. the Dolphins yeah. have some really fast players on the offense, so that's probably what it was. Plus, he, he sat out last year, right? Yeah, the entire yeah. year. Could be that. Yeah. Um, I think everybody that sat out for us got cut. <laughs> so uh, that obviously doesn't do you any favors, probably just not playing football for a year. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you, it seems like you have a lot of versatile weapons back there in the safety safety room. And I think actually Jalen Mills is playing really well. I didn't expect that because everything I heard was, ah, he's okay, he can't really play corner. But he's doing a really good job at the second corner position. And when Stefan Gilmer comes back, being able to move Jalen Mills around like a like a chess piece, that's going to be really valuable for Bill Belichick. That's what you need to look out for when that happens. You signed him this free agency, right? Yeah. Where he was he on the Eagles. the Eagles. That's right. Okay. He's got like, I don't think he has different colored hair now, but he had like green hair when he was on the Eagles, okay. I'm pretty sure. Well, it looks like he's dedicated to his teams if he's willing to dye his hair green. <laughs> What color would he would he dye it like a a navy blue or something like a I guess maybe a silver. Uh, he should go red. <laughs> he should go red. Just yeah. bright red. <laughs> so right now, what would you say your final record is going to be? Final record, I'll say ten seven. Okay, that's that's about where I think you would finish. Yeah. Um, who's the toughest team? Would you say the Buccaneers toughest team on your schedule? Yeah, I mean it has to be the Buccaneers. They're I mean, thank God for the rest of the league when their starting quarters got hurt and opening day, and I, it looked like a pretty bad injury. It looked like his arm yeah. like broke in half. <laughs> so <laughs> that's never good. So their defense might not be as good as it's supposed to be, but their defense still looks pretty good. And that offense, I think he's going to end up having four Hall of Fame weapons on that offense. That's Rob Gronkowski is a first ballot. Antonio Brown is going to get in the Hall of Fame. I can't. I mean, they might try to pull a TO thing with him, but he has to be a Hall of Famer. He has the stats. He's he, he's been the best receiver in the league for three years, and he might be the best receiver again. He didn't have a great game last week, so maybe he won't be this year, but he has a chance at it. And he's got Mike Evans, who I'm pretty sure had a thousand yard season his first five years, and then he had another one last year, I'm pretty sure. And he got Chris Godwin. I mean, Chris Godwin's the biggest wild card, but I went to Penn State with Chris Godwin. <laughs> but I, he's incredible. He's truly an incredible receiver. I think he's going to have a really, really, really good career, and I think it's going to be a Hall of Fame career. And he has a great offensive line and he yeah. has a versatile stable of running backs. Like yeah. he doesn't have an amazing like individual running back, but he has so many that just do different things. He's got a lot um, of good ones. Yeah. A lot of like B tier running backs, which yeah. is more than enough to get the job done. As we saw last year, um, you just truly, t truly tr Tom Brady's league of incredible weapons. <laughs> <laughs> it truly is Tom Brady's as, league. Of as you once weapons. put it, um, all right, so just the final thing. Uh, right now, I want your prediction. Right now, is Mac Jones going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to have the stats for it. I mean, I think everybody's going to look at him at the end of the year, and they're going to say, okay, maybe only Trevor Lawrence was better than you in the draft, but I don't think he's going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. I mean – I think Lawrence will probably get it. That defense is bad, and I'm sure he, he'll pick it up as the season goes, so he'll probably be able to rack up a lot of yards and a lot of touchdowns there. Trey Lance won't. I don't think Zach Wilson will after he threw four interceptions against us. So you never know. Wilson, you can always turn it around. Um, like, Justin I mean, Fields, I mean, he's actually playing now, but I don't know yeah. if he's going to be able to get there with the Bears. If the Jets wanted to pay a Zach like $23 million or however much it was that they paid him, to go out there and play like that, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go out there, and the result won't be won't be that much more terrible. I'll throw four picks. Hell, I'll throw five. Yeah, I'll I'll do whatever you want, Jets. Um, yeah, I I just think he's not sexy enough of a player, uh, Mac. To because you know how it is. Yeah, you know how it is with yeah. the voting. They're like, oh, who's fast and who's athletic and who makes all the big down the throw explosive throws, not necessarily someone who's just going to do their job and, and, and do enough. So I don't know if a quarterback wins it. Um, it'd be pretty Jamar wild. Chase, I, I think he's having a really good start to the year. Yeah, 
He is. And I think the Bengals, they're going to throw it 600 times this year. Like yeah. they're going to, it's going to be a, a lot of stats for his wide receivers. They have no defense to no. speak of. No Absolutely defense. none. Um, It'd be cool if like, it will never happen. But if Penny Sewell somehow won it because he was just so dominant. I would love crazy. that. I would love for an offensive lineman to win. Be great. They that should be incredible. They should I almost have... feel like offensive linemen aren't eligible just because it feels so impossible. Yeah, it's like, oh, you just block. Well, he's a left tackle. He's 20 years he's old. 20 years old. That's he insane. can't even drink yet. Dude, I would kill to have Penny Sewell on the Colts. 